If you want to have success with toilet training or potty training your dog, whether that's a brand new eight week old puppy or a 10 year old rescue dog from a shelter, one of the best things that we can utilize is a little bit of canine psychology. And that is understanding that our dogs are denning animals. And the way that we can use that to our advantage is because denning animals, dogs, don't like to have an accident in their den area. So when you bring your dog into your home, keep that area small and keep your dog confined to it when you're not watching them because we can tap into that nature of them not wanting to have an accident in their den. The mistake people make is they give their dogs way too much freedom way too soon. So the dog will learn where their bed is and they'll start to build their den around that space. But if you give them too much freedom, they'll just take themselves off to the corner of the room and have an accident there. But if you utilized pens or crates, you'd stop them being able to go to that area when you're not watching, which would stop them from having the accident in the first place. Then we can move on to the next steps where we really set our dog up for success and teach them where it is that we do want them to go when using their basic psychology and their denning instincts to our advantage, which means when we're not observing them, if we're a little bit busy, we know there's a much less likelihood of a mistake because they're in their den. Now, once we have started to establish our dog's den, that means we've started to help them understand where not to go. But then we need to make it super obvious where we do want them to go. And this is the part of raising and training perfect dogs that is the least glamorous. Yes, this means taking your dog to their designated toilet area, usually the grass in your backyard, regularly. Waiting and watching them. And the second they go number one or number two, you need to be verbally praising them and giving them a treat the split seconds they're done. There's nothing fancy here, no cool obedience that you can share on Instagram, just good old-fashioned discipline and patience. But stick with it, and between these first two tips, you'll be 90% of the way there. And my third tip will fill that last 10% easily. Now guys, I completely understand if you're bringing a new dog into your home, especially a new puppy, there's so much to think about. And potty training or toilet training is just one small piece of the equation if you want to raise and train your own perfect canine companion. Which is why I've created a completely free course that goes into much more detail about how you raise perfect puppies than we can cover in a short YouTube video like this. That course is called My Principles of Perfect Puppy Training. Like I say, it's completely free. You can join and register right now. There'll be a link in the description box below, but let's move on to talking more about how you can make sure that your dog is perfectly potty trained. Now, the first two tips often then pose the following question. And the good thing is, is that the answer to that question is my third tip. And the question is, well then, how often should I take my dog out to try and go to the toilet? And my rule here to begin with, ideally for the entire first week, is during waking hours, you should be taking them out on the hour every hour. So set an alarm and be disciplined. If you do this while simultaneously observing for other signs, like having just drunk water, woke up from a nap, or sniffing and circling the ground, you'd be shocked at how easy it is to ensure your dog never has an accident in the house. And when you pair those tips with all the other tips in my free puppy course, Course, you'll be shocked at just how easy it is to have the perfect canine companion you've always wanted.